Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ayana and you want to go ahead, press that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you not miss any videos from me. All right, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, y'all, as y'all can tell from the title, I am doing my final and last update for the Healthy Hair Growth Challenge of six months, okay? We actually started the challenge back in February, so February, and May, June, July, August. The challenge actually ended in August, but I'm just getting this update to y'all right now. So it is September, I'm not gonna lie. So I will be giving my final update today. I will actually be linking all of the videos and all the updates that I did during this challenge down below in the description box for you guys to go look at. Especially go look at the very first video of me introducing the challenge. I will be mentioning my routine and everything I've done so far during this whole challenge. So let's go ahead and get into this last and final update. First thing first, I wanna to touch on the overall health and look of my hair, okay? Obviously, I have my mini twists in. I know last time I said I was gonna wear my hair all out, but that ain't the case today, so my hair is in mini twists. But I can tell from myself personally that this challenge has definitely benefited me and my hair a whole lot. I don't know if y'all can go look at the older videos and see my hair earlier in the year, back in January, December, but I can definitely tell by looking at my hair and feeling my hair that my hair has grown a whole lot. My hair feels a whole lot stronger, a whole lot healthier. My ends look so much better, y'all. No joke, I'm so happy I did this whole challenge and I was on it. I was on it because my hair is showing proof that I was on it, okay? Moving forward in my natural hair journey, I will continue to rotate my products. Instead of using the same product every wash day, I will make sure to be rotating my products. I do rotate my shampoos, conditioners, deep conditioners, all that stuff on my hair because I don't want my hair to be like, all right, girl, next. What I mean by that is I will use a moisturizing shampoo one wash day, then I'll probably use a detoxing shampoo one wash day, and then sometimes I might use the apple cider vinegar, clay mask, one wash day. So it'll just be rotated throughout my hair care routine now that I'm moving forward with my journey. Along with the strengthening treatments as well, I definitely feel like my hair has benefited from a lot of the strengthening treatments that I used during this challenge. I really, really love the Olaplex treatment system. That has really benefited my hair a lot this whole entire challenge. Some of my deep conditioners that focus more on repairing the hair and strengthening the hair has really helped improve the strength of my hair as well, which I can say it has, okay? I will definitely make sure to rotate all my products, like I said, during my wash day, so I make sure I have a hydrating product and a strengthening product. A strengthening product and a hydrating product. So those two literally go hand in hand every wash day for me, okay? And I never skipped any deep conditioning this year. I always deep condition my hair every two weeks during my wash day. So I always deep condition, no matter what. I know a lot of people say you don't need to deep condition if you condition or just skip the conditioner and just go to deep conditioning. Nah, can't tell me that, can't tell me in my hair that I'm always deep conditioned every single wash day. Either that be in a hydrating deep conditioner or strengthening deep conditioner. I'm always deep condition. Okay, I also wanted to touch on what I did last month during the last and final month of the challenge. So actually last month, I actually did a blowout on my hair for the first time in almost a whole year. I will actually have that video down below in the description box and in the eye for you to check out. I highly recommend checking it out. But I did a blowout on my hair and I prepped my hair in that video for that moment for that blowout heat, okay? So I actually used the Olaplex system last month as well. And then I also made sure to use a lot of hydrating products as well before I blew out my hair. And I can say that was the best blowout I've ever done on my hair. Number one, because my hair looked so healthy. My hair was very, very healthy. My ends looked it amazing. My ends did not look thin and looking straggly looking. They looked it good, okay? So my ends looked it good. My hair was very, very strengthened because when I did do the blowout, usually sometimes you'll feel like a strand of hair or the hair probably broke off, so there's a strand of hair in your hand. But I had no broken hair, y'all. No broken hair during that blowout. And I can say that was the best blowout I've ever done on my hair. And I've been natural for what? 
12, 11 years. So I can say that was the best method I've ever used on my hair personally. And I'm going to continue to use that method. I used the Olaplex products before I blew out my hair because I wanted to make sure my hair was strengthened. And I also have to chop it up too, not just for the Olaplex products, but just overall using strengthening products and hydrating products on my hair throughout this whole entire six months has definitely helped my hair for that blowout moment as well. Because if I didn't do any of that stuff, I feel like I probably would have had a little bit of breakage regardless if I had used the Olaplex or not. But I feel like since I've been using a lot of strengthening products and hydrating products on my hair, my hair was good and ready to go. She was ready to take on that heat. I also did a apple cider clay mask on my hair, y'all. Y'all know I love the apple cider bentonite clay mask on my hair. It, it just does a very good job with detoxing the hair, softening the hair. And balancing the pH in the hair as well. Like I said, if you never tried the apple cider vinegar bentonite clay mask, highly recommend trying it out. I have a video on how I mix it up and all that stuff in the description box. I will have that link. But I also did that apple cider vinegar clay mask last month as well. I believe I did it after my blowout. So after my blowout was finished and done with, I did go in and use a apple cider vinegar clay mask to help detox my hair and all that good stuff to get off the product that I had on my hair when I had did my blowout. Even though my hair wasn't filled with product, I just wanted to do an apple cider vinegar clay mask to reset my hair and all that good stuff. Now, a little bit of update about my shedding. Y'all know I've always talked about the amount of hair I shed. It might be normal because I have a lot of hair on my head and my hair is long, so it might be the normal, but for some reason, I just feel in my heart of hearts that it be shedding too much, okay? So now that I'm towards the end of the challenge versus the beginning of the challenge, have I seen a big difference with my shedding? Probably slightly. It's not as much shedding as it used to be, but I'm not gonna get, you know, too, too up in arms because like I said, I have a lot of hair on my head and my hair is super long, so it probably looks like a lot versus somebody that has, you know, shorter hair. So far as the shedding though, when I was using the Vegamore Hair Serum Drops, those drops really, really work. And I've seen that my shedding was reduced using those hair drops, y'all. So if you have the funds for that, you know, Vegamore hair drops, highly recommend trying them out for three months. That's when you'll see most of the uh, progress with the shedding. But me personally, I can't see myself paying almost $70 for that small bottle. So I had to, you know, put it to rest, unfortunately. But I did pick up, like I mentioned in several of my other updates, the My L Organic Sea Moss Hair and Scalp Oil. They just released that this year. So I went ahead and picked up three of those. I'm on my last bottle right now. I'm not consistent. I'm still not consistent with using that hair oil. I think it's because it's, it feels oily and if it's dripping on my neck and stuff, it made me not want to use it because it's oily. So I have not been consistent with it. So I can't be a valid, a valid source in regards to if it really does reduce the amount of shedding. I'm still using it. I use it probably like once to two, three times a week. I'm not very consistent with it, unfortunately, but I plan on continuing to use it. So I can't be really a valid source on if it does reduce the amount of shedding. I can be a valid source when it comes to the Vegamore Hair Growth Serum. That right there, it works because I've seen a difference in the amount of shedding I had when I was using those drops. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the challenge actually ended in August, but I'm just getting around to filming my update and the final update for this challenge this month in September. So this month, I actually am planning on doing a trim. Like I mentioned in several of my other updates, I planned on doing a trim every three months on my hair just to make sure my ends stay fresh as possible and to help with the thickness of my ends and the overall look of my hair. And I can say trimming my hair every three months has definitely helped me. Like I've said throughout this whole video, it looked so good, okay? My hair and ends looked so good. So I will be giving myself another trim this month. I usually like to do my trims when I have mini twists in. I should have did my trim while I was putting these mini twists in, but I actually forgot, unfortunately. So when I do another set of mini twists, I will be trimming my ends. Last time I trimmed my ends, I did not have to trim so much off so I could tell that my hair was benefiting from it. So I will be doing my trim sometime this month. All right, y'all. And I want to go ahead and do my final recap of everything I've noticed with my hair during this whole entire challenge. I also want to thank you guys as well who participated with me in this challenge. I know I wasn't that consistent in this core towards the end of the challenge. So please forgive me. 
please forgive me, okay? But if you did participate in this challenge with me, let me know your updates down below. But I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my final recap of what I've noticed with my hair during this challenge and why I feel like I am on top of the world right now. I'm on top of the world right now. First thing I've noticed is I have little to no breakage now, y'all. Because my hair has been, you know, cared for and I use products intentionally this year, I have little to no breakage. I really noticed it last month because I was just like, with that blowout, y'all, no lie, I was like, I did not see any breakage. I did not feel any of my hair, like strands coming out. My hair had no breakage. So I've noticed I had little to no breakage during this challenge and I will continue to use the products and the routine that I set for myself for this challenge. I will continue to use that for the rest of my hair care journey. The second thing I've noticed is my ends look so much better, y'all. My ends look a lot fuller and the thickness of my hair looks so good when my hair is all out. There is no see-through ends. My hair does not look thin at the ends or anything like that. So that is something I've noticed immediately after I started doing my trims every three months. And that leads me into the third thing I've noticed. Doing my trims more frequently and more often has definitely benefited my ends. So now my hair can retain its growth and its length and not snapping and breaking off at the ends or anything like that. Because if your ends ain't fresh and clean as possible, it will start to break. The ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair. So you want to make sure you try and, you know, not do too much to your ends and keep them clean and cut as often as possible. Because y'all know, like I said, it's the oldest part of your hair. So yes, doing my trims every three months has definitely helped retain the growth and the overall look and health of my hair as well. And the last thing I've noticed is doing my mini twists or protective styles or just keeping your hands out of your hair in general has definitely benefited my hair as well. I know this in the back of my head, I know this because I've done this when I was in high school. I used to always rock Marley twists nonstop and that's when my hair was just like foof. As I continue to go into my hair journey, I was like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I don't want to do the protective style, I don't want to do the protective style. You're going to have to do a protective style once in a while just to give your hair a break and, you, you know, give yourself a break as well. I love doing my mini twists, y'all. I love not having to do my hair. Ask me if I did my hair this morning. No, I didn't. All I did was throw it in a ponytail and it's done, okay? So, I love doing mini twists, y'all. I've been doing it nonstop. I feel like this is probably my fourth time this year doing mini twists and I absolutely love it. So, I feel like doing mini twists or a protective style more often this year has really helped retain the growth of my hair and the overall health of my hair as well because you don't have your hands in your hair every 10 seconds okay highly recommend incorporating more protective styles into your hair care routine but i hope you guys enjoyed this last and final update for the healthy hair growth challenge of six months this year okay let me know your updates down below if you have participated in this challenge let me know them down below in the comment section i would love to hear how your hair is and how it was before you started the challenge so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said the videos that i mentioned in this video will be in the description box i highly recommend checking those videos out but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share. Sharing is caring. So go ahead and do that. Don't forget you're beautiful, you're strong, you the best music. And I will see you guys in my next one.